wondering know if we can get an injury update on some of the guys. Uh, yeah, by Raddy will be, uh, he won't be playing tonight and he'll be out for a couple of weeks at least. Matt Benning is on IR, so he'll be out for a week for sure. And uh, Drake Kajula is not ready to play. With, with Raddy, sir, I, it just looked like he pulled something or what was, what was the nature of that? Uh, yeah, it was a muscle, mid-body muscle that, you know, I can't even tell you how it happened. It just, it happens and uh, pulled something and he's, he's hurt. So he's going to need some time to recover and heal. Can you just talk about, um, you know, the thought process of go, go to Yamamoto into that spot and, you know, other guys that you might have considered and things like that, just the thought process? Yeah, Yamo has played well. He's, uh, he keeps a lot of offensive plays alive. He goes to the paint. Uh, the other two have played well over on that line and played well over 20 to 24 minutes a night. So they're going to get a lot of ice time and we felt like he would fit that spot. Todd, by putting him there, he'll end up seeing a lot of, you know, number one, number two defensemen, real good defenders. What have you seen in Yamamoto's ability to, to handle those types of defenders and, and what a challenge that is? Well, like physically, he's been fine. Um, you know, I think back to Boston, you got Chara, who's perhaps the biggest player in the league, and Yamu is one of the smaller ones, and, and he went up and battled against him for, for 120 minutes now. Um, didn't win all the battles, but he showed up for them, and that's encouraging. Tonight, uh, when you talk about facing the, uh, uh, you know, the top two defensemen, they've got a top four that's as strong as anybody's top two, so it doesn't matter. He's going to play against two real good defensemen no matter what line he's on. And um, he's, been, he's been fine. He creates space for teammates. He holds on to pucks. He's one of our best retrieval uh, players. Anything that's loose, he's able to strip pucks and roll around um, in tight areas to try and create for, for teammates. Got a little confidence. He scored the other day and, and had another great chance a minute after. So we're, uh, we're anticipating he has a good night with those two. Uh, Two-part question here, Todd. Um, it's, it's talked about all around the league, and winning one goal games is crucial to any team's success. You guys have done that for three straight games now, last two in overtime. And now your second part of the question is now you're also welcoming uh, a red-hot Nashville Predator team that has won four straight. What's, what's the general feel heading into this one? Is this, like, is this a big test for your group coming into tonight? Well, the second part first. The, uh, the Nashville team is a test for, for everybody in the league. They are... Uh, you know, they're arguably the top team in the league or in, in the Western Conference at this point. Um, and they're often a team that just gets better as the, go, as the year goes on. Uh, very dynamic back end, uh, forwards that complement their D, and it is a big test for us. Um, how do we feel going in? We feel pretty good. Um, you know, obviously not as healthy as we'd like to be, but we're now back in the, into the NHL. Um, our games are coming fast, and bumps and bruises don't heal as quick, so... Um, you know, our group will be, uh, I'd like to think we'll be prepared to play and we'll come out and swing the bat right away instead of, uh, you know, wander around the batter's box. Let's, let's get right at it. And we haven't done that for a few nights. One goal games, usually the special teams dictate the outcome of a one goal game. And uh, our last three, we've been able to win uh, the special teams battle. And as a result, we win the game. So that's how important they are. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you have a sort of a policy that when guys come up, they don't necessarily play in the first game. You stick with who's here and then integrate them into the lineup. I don't, but regarding Kevin Gravel and Garrison, just a thought on what you're looking out of uh, with Gravel when he gets in, and because uh, based on today, it looks like yeah, no no policy set like that. It just happens, and we'll use players as we as we feel we need them. Uh, Kevin got here late yesterday. He is going to watch the game tonight, um, and he's up here to play. He's not up here to to sit and be a placeholder. So uh, the other six defensemen that are in the lineup tonight have to per perform and perform at a high level to, uh, to maintain ice time or maintain a, a roster position. And healthy competition has been good for our team. We've seen it so far with, with different players uh, going in and out of the lineup as well as going up and down the lineup. And if we can maintain that and uh, have, each, have those players push each other, then we'll be better for it. Cam talked about um, confidence you showed him in Winnipeg not taking him out after that fourth goal, and he said it really uh, spurred him on. C can you touch on that decision? And also, do you have any kind of idea of 
what you want to do with uh, Talbot? Is it day to day? You just check with him, or is there any kind of schedule for uh, Koskinen or anything like that? There's uh, Miko will get a game here soon. Uh, we talked about that the other day, so he will get a game here soon. Talbs is uh, is in a groove right now. He's by no means fatigued. He is excited about playing games. Um, I think when when the team was flat against Boston, he was outstanding. And um, that shows me he's sharp and he wants to be in the net. As far as leaving him in in Winnipeg, um, the game was unique. We were down four, but we didn't feel like we were completely out of it, obviously with the result, and uh, wanted to show confidence in him. Uh, there was some discussion, do we put Miko in at that point? But um, we stuck with Talbs, we believe in him, and um, we we're lucky enough to get the win. He was a big part of it. Um, what are you looking for out of Alex Chason, and what, what do you think he brings to the lineup? I think Alex Chason's going to be a good player for us, and um, he's a detailed player. Uh, he might not be the speediest player, but he, uh, he makes up for, for his um, feet with his brain, well positioned, um, plays a direct game straightforward. He's good in and around the blue paint, and um, he's a veteran. He, he knows what's going to happen tonight. He's felt it before. Um, he's bought his time and he deserves an opportunity to play. I'd love for him to, to go in now and, and have a great night and keep a, keep a spot in the lineup, push somebody else. And uh, that goes back to that healthy competition.